Hey there, my name is Jaden, here as always for Foam Armory to give you guys a one-day build. This is the sword that was broken, the hilt of Narsil. Check it out. As much as I love Pepikira, today's build is actually just a line drawing of the shards of Narsil ported into Pepikira for the purposes of scaling say that 10 times fast. I'm using Pepikura so that I can also print the alignment marks on the pages to help me assemble the printed paper template from multiple sheets of letter-sized paper. Here I thought I'd demonstrate the process of putting these templates together out of the printer. It's just a matter of cutting away the margins of the pages and carefully lining up the marks as we tape them together. I went through and taped together not only the printed faces of the paper, but the backs as well, adding some additional masking tape to the cross guard to make my template more durable. I wasn't interested in making all of the shards, so I removed them first. Then it's a simple matter of cutting the whole thing out and tracing it directly onto some 10mm foam sheet. I cut the pieces wide for gluing. It's the same process I used to make Sokka's boomerang in my last one day build. For better ventilation, I went outside to glue these pieces together. When working with contact cement, always remember to give your glue a good stir before beginning. I applied two layers of contact cement as evenly as possible to the foam. This is especially important when gluing larger surfaces together to ensure an even, lasting bond. After two layers were applied, I proceeded to absolutely biff gluing the two halves together. Fortunately, I managed to separate the two pieces without the need for any solvents, and an additional coat of contact cement smoothed everything over quite nicely. Once the two halves were bonded together, I carefully went through and cut down the excess foam around the whole piece, being sure to maintain as straight and level an edge as possible. This takes time and can't be rushed. Remember, you can always remove material, but it's very difficult to hide joins. I wanted to add some thickness to the cross guard, so I cut out two additional layers of 6mm foam and glued them to the main body of the sword with contact cement. I began to detail the cross guard first, but I realized I needed more of a taper to the edges, so I cut down the excess foam and after drafting my guidelines onto the new surface, I began the careful process of cutting and shaping the piece. This project is a fantastic guide to getting to know your rotary tool. You really learn how to work with the spin of the drum and how to pull against it as well. And don't be afraid to switch up your bits based on the shape you're going for. Use the right tool for the right job. Using the templates as a guide, I was sure to remove any excess material I could with a sharp blade before digging in with my Dremel. After most of the shaping was done, I made sure to go over any problem burrs with a stone bit to smooth them down gently. Needless to say, this project kicks up a ton of dust. Cleanup is important, and so is safety. Always wear a respirator, kids. You don't want this garbage in your lungs. After a fair amount of cleanup, you'll want to go ahead and heat treat your foam to help seal it for the next few steps. Before coating in paint, I wanted to get the ribbing on the hand grip just right, so I cut some strips of 6mm foam into angled wedges and used super glue to tack them down into place. Super glue should be more than effective here, especially for a display prop. Six pieces down one side of the grip, then flip and repeat for an easy but effective layer of detail. Once the piece is all sculpted, I sealed the material with some watered down Mod Podge. I was pretty liberal with this step to try and smooth out the surface of the sword.
I also made sure to fill any last minute gaps with quick seal silicone caulk before three coats of Plasti Dip and a solid coat of Rust Oleum Gloss Black Enamel Paint. Gloss enamels are a phenomenal base layer for rub and buff paints, so as soon as it cures, I work silver into all the nooks and crannies of the blade. The handle is finished with some black acrylics, and then those same acrylics were used to distress the metal areas. I then mixed up a little white acrylic with some rub and buff for a final highlight over any raised or sharp areas, and the build was done. I'm really quite happy with how this turned out, especially as an exercise in carving with my rotary tool. I was able to flex some creative muscles on this that I haven't in a while, and that's always a lot of fun. In a lot of ways, this build is a lot like my other one-day prop build, Sokka's Boomerang. It's still a solid-state foam prop, but obviously you can see how one leans more into the cartoony realm and one is a much grittier prop piece. There are a couple of small things that I would do differently were I to do this again. I might actually use a slightly thicker piece of foam in the middle to raise the cross guard even more, because in the movie it's got even more of a peak to it, but this does look very good from the direction you're supposed to be viewing it, which is head-on. I'm gonna mounted, probably right next to the TV. If you were looking for even more of a challenge, there is, technically speaking, uh, lettering that goes up and down the blade. There's script that you could add in there. You could easily etch that in or burn it in with a wood burner. I might do something like that in a future build. If you like this build, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. That helps out the channel immensely. We just passed 230 subscribers, which is incredible. I feel so overwhelmed by the positive response that the channel is getting, and I really hope that you guys enjoy these templates and these builds. For those of you who missed it on our latest live stream, we just gave away the Fade Tier 100 mask from Fortnite. Again, huge congratulations to Rain. Can't wait to get this thing in the mail out to you. We're definitely going to be doing more giveaways in the future, so feel free to subscribe for more of that. If you want to support the channel, check us out over on Patreon. My patrons get access to all of my templates a week in advance, so please check it out over there. On that note, a huge shout out to our patrons, Austin of AJ Plays Piano and Kieran. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. We really appreciate all that you do. If you're looking to put this build together yourself, the templates are going to be down below in the description, so please go forth build and send me photos. I love to see people putting together these builds that I make. For now, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Jaden for Foam Armory. Take care.